Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add some tubulars, grades, and connections. I'll show you how to do that. So we actually have a real live example inside the demo file, um, section three of string six, which is the 10.175 inch OD part of the tie back. We didn't have the data for this when we first created the file, but now we have a data sheet that was sent through. We can use this data sheet um, to create the information in the tubular. So I first need to create a 10.175 inch OD connection. We've got this 10 and an eighth, which isn't quite right. It should be a tiny bit bigger than this because 10 and an eighth is 10.125. So I'd come up here, I'd collect, I'd click add tubular. My OD is going to be 10.175. The weight, I have 81, yes, 81. And then I thicken of 0.8. Okay, save and that's created that tubular now, which I can select from the drop down menu. Once it quickly adds it to the database, add it to the database, and then it's selectable. There we go, a little bit of lag on the computer there. So we've got 10.175, it's brought up the 81 pound per foot and the 0 0.8. Next, um, we're actually using VM125SS, um, very similar to um, SM125S, but not identical. So what we're gonna do is create this grade now. So I click up here and I create the grade. We're gonna call this VM125SS, uh, yield strength, minimum and yield strength maximum. So on this data sheet here, we know that it's one, two, five, 125,000 and the tensile is 130,000. Um, but we don't know what the maximum yield strength is. So I brought up the data sheet from the Valorec website and I see here it's 135,000 yield. Enter it in there. It's not an anisotropic grade, so I don't need to edit any of the data here. But if it was, then I could make changes here as I see fit. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to control C and just paste down where I got the data sheet information from for the grade and paste it in there and I'll click save. So what I can do now is once it writes to the database, I can select that grade, the VM125SS, and then we can use that going forward in the design. Um, and I'll have to make a update to the revision file and then paste that to the site as well. So there's the VM125. Finally, we're going to have no connections for this because we've just created the grid. So what we need to do finally is add the connection. There's this connection name. I'll come back to the data sheet from VAM. The connection is going to be a VAM SLI. SLI J I I K T. Find our 10.175 inch OD. Weight and grade are going to be filled automatically. Weight and thickness are going to be filled automatically because we only have this. Now for grade, we're going to select the VM125SS. Last grade we created, so it's going to go to the bottom of the list here. And then I'm going to make a note of where I got this from, which is just the code on the bottom of the data sheet. Um, so if a colleague opens this, or when you gents open this, you realize exactly where I got it from. You can potentially trace the origin of the data um, if you needed to at a later date. Okay. So we have a, a word of note here that efficiencies in percentage or efficiency ratings. So some data sheets say that something is maybe 60% efficient in compression. So I would just come in here and I could change that to 60%. And that would bring this compression rating down here. Or we can edit the actual ratings ourselves here to tie them in with what we need. So now we've added a tubular, a grade, and a connection. Um, next, we're going to move on to the design basis and tubular performance and go into a few details on that.